Peace Halls had a, a large impact on the time. Obviously that opened uh, August 2017. Um, we saw an immediate uplift in footfall from then. Last year, when we were comparing light for light figures, we're still seeing an increase of uh, about 1%. Um, for 2019 so far, we're early in the year, but we've seen a, a footfall increase of uh, just under 14%. So the town, in terms of footfall, is, is really quite healthy at the minute, uh, and Peace Hall has been a, a big part of that. What we've done really well over the past 12 months as, is that we've collectively told a positive story to potential visitors about Calderdale as a vibrant, distinctive, cultural destination. Uh, so much so that National Geographic Traveller put the Calder Valley at number seven on their global cool list for 2019, which meant that we ranked above Hong Kong. What we're trying to develop in terms of the South Pennines Park is that collaboration between our partners and work, but also our communities. It's about that social economic well-being of the area, looking after our landscape so it can look after people and place. I think people are so proud of their place, the creativity that it brings into the area. So it's looking at developing that and, and bringing people along with us. I think that's so key to the, what we're trying to achieve here. Halifax uh, and the area generally, it feels like it, it, it's on the up. Halifax in particular, um, partly as a result of the investment in the town, the peace hall, but also the growing and developing vibrant cultural scene, often being driven by what's happening in terms of music. Um, not just in Halifax though, but across the Calderdale, Calder Valley. There's lots of places we would give their right arm to have the buildings that we have here, uh, the spirit that this town has. I suppose in the last year or so it's become more prolific because of the size and scale of Peace Hall and our ability to showcase the independent music scene on a bigger platform. I think that this will always be a place that people look to for that, the independent music scene and indeed they already are. It's, it, we've only just, it's job started in many ways in terms of the continued growth um, and we just need to carry that on by working together as we have been. What's happened in Halifax uh, in the last couple of years has really, really cemented these market towns uh, and our place in the Yorkshire landscape. It is very distinctive. I think the game changer for me was the grand part of the Tour de France and then the Yorkshire Festival, which really, really galvanised collaboration locally, meaningfully. So I think for the very, very first time, there's a lot of joined up thinking, a lot of joined up working. Together we are stronger. In terms of Calderdale, I see this place very much being the hub of, of the park, that ripple out effect where we can come and meet, but get out there and enjoy the area. We're getting many more people through the town. We've had three million visitors and still counting. I believe that that impact will be more widely felt by the rest of the borough if it isn't happening already. It's really, really important that we keep our young people here and that they feel very proud to be part of the Calderdale scene.